Bakoze mwami imana kubwaya mahirwe yo kumva ijambo ryawe. Lord as we sit before your word this morning. Data ubwo twicara imbere y'ijambo ryawe iki gitondo. Pray for the spirit of revelation. Turasaba umwuka wihishurirwa. Lord I pray that you open the eyes of our understanding. Data ndasenga ngufungura amaso yo gusobanukirwa muri twe. Give us a fresh revelation revelation. Duhiye ihishurirwa rishyashya of who you are and who you want us to be. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please get seated. Please get seated. Uh, we we'll greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a great joy to be back with you this time after a year. No munezero ukomeye kubwacu kuba turi kumwe namwe nyuma y'umwaka. And also to see uh, what God is doing in the nation here. We appreciate uh, Pastor uh, Apostle Gitwaza and uh, his wife and uh, elders and leadership of the church. And, uh, Thank you for what you're doing in carrying the vision God has put in your heart. It's good to see the vision being a blessing not only to Rwanda but to the nations. We also want to appreciate the choir. That was lovely worship, wasn't it? Amen. 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 Uh, last year I didn't come with my wife. This time I did. And I'd like her to greet you. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, because of the changes you had to go through, she cannot stay uh, for the whole time I'll be staying. Uh, she runs a school and they're closing term soon, so she has to be back. Yeah. She's my bride of 27 years. Imani Shimechani. Amen. Yes. <laughs> That's as far as I go. <laughs> I'm sure if I stayed longer, I would learn. As uh, my husband James has introduced us, uh, introduced me, we've been married uh, 27 years now. We bring you greetings from our children. Therefore, it's an empty nest right now. Our last born just joined university a few months ago. We have four children, three boys and a girl. The eldest is 25 and the youngest is 19. I'm giving you this detail because this conference is about restoration and rebuilding the family. And one of the things that has been a passion in our lives is the restoration and the building of solid family structures. Like he mentioned, we have a school that we've been running for the last 10 years, 11 now. When you're working with children, you end up in their homes, in their families. And on a daily basis, we see the benefits of a solid family structure and its impact on the child. But the reverse is also true. We see how children are destroyed and are struggling 
when the family is not together. Tubasha kubona ko yabana bava mu miryango ifite ibibazo bagira ibibazo mu mashuri baba banava mu miryango mizima ikomeye bakabasha no gutsinda neza mu mashuri. So even as we go through this uh, conference. Ero muri iki giterane our prayer is that the Lord will begin to rebuild us. Isengesho dufite nuko Imana yatangira kutwubaka. Those places that have had broken walls God will open our eyes to them and will give us instruction on how we can work with him to rebuild them. God bless you. One of my brothers in law tells me that I didn't pay enough cows. <laughs> but I tell him I'm responsible. I'm, I'm responsible for taking care of her. So they should be the ones refunding some cows now. <laughs> okay, um, I I will be speaking on Tuesday morning in quite a bit of detail. Today I would like to lay the foundation for this topic of family. God never asks us to do things that he does not do himself. And my prayer this morning is as, as we study who God is, we'll begin to understand some of the instructions God has given us as family people, Isengesh, as families. The Christian faith teaches that there is one God. There are many scriptures to that. We cannot spend going to all of them. In the book of Deuteronomy, Moses reminded the Israelites that um, as he was closing his uh, ministry, um, and he says, Hear all, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. God speaks of himself also as being one, and there is no other. In the book of James, in the New Testament, James chapter 2 verse 19. James says, he was challenging those he was writing to. He was saying, you believe that God is one. But he tells them that even the devils believe that he's one. And they even tremble. They, be, they do more than you. They tremble. So we're going to touch a little bit on our belief and our, uh, our affirmation that God is one expressed in three persons, but one. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Data, umana, numu kawera. I usually do assemblies at the school um, my wife is uh, leading, and uh, we have children of all ages. Mukigocha mashuri dufite kandi tuyobo ye duftava na bimnyaka yos nyaki tandu kanye. One morning we're trying to explain to them the concept of the Trinity. Lero dufitu kunu tuja tuba huza, umusumge tu shaka kubi jisha ubuta tu kujirango wumvi chubuta tu busobani. So we use the illustration of water. Water can be solid. As ice, you hold it. But the very same water 
can be liquid. If you were to check the nature of the water, it has not changed at all. Amazi na hinduka. Iyari barafu, arina amazi, ameneka, arachitwa amazi. If you boil that water, it becomes a gas. Turanyishe turawabge ya tuti, ya amazi no neho, iyo ya togo teshe jumanya mure mure, ahindu kumotzi. It is still water. Umuka, arachara amazi. It's not a perfect illustration. Urugoro jero suru jero rugiza chane. But it's, the children receive that. They understand, okay, God can be Father, He can be Holy Spirit, He can be... Oh, he is, not can be, he is. Uh, same God, exactly the same God. And the Each of them is equal. The scriptures see, teach that they are eternal. They have always existed. They will always exist. They are not three gods, no. One God. Three persons, one God. Are we together? This doctrine of the Trinity has caused a lot of trouble in the church down through the ages. And from in history, at various, at various points in history, the church had to come out very strongly to clarify on this because you always have people who want to go off at a tangent. We will look at some scriptures shortly. But it's just important for us to understand that Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are equal. Amen. Amen. They are equal and they are identical. They have the same nature. Because of, uh, as I said, tendencies for various groups to begin to teach. Today you hear some people saying Jesus only, others Father only. And, you know, in, in church history, a time uh, came uh, in the early church and the first uh, few hundred years of the church where the church leaders had to come together and write what we now call the creed. And they would write ブセモラハルゴビショアゴティンダヤジランゴメニンバンフズビジョアラニミクリスティンインメニペントノバペントコストチャーチェスウィドノットオフェンリサイドデクリッドンコバイタムチョンジェレザビコーズアファーダーズ
Reka rero twibaze tuti ese nimba imana data umwana n'umwuka wera ari bamwe mu myifatire no mu miterere itandukaniro hagati yabo nirihe What distinguishes the father from the son from the holy spirit Niki gitandukanya imana data n'umwana n'umwuka wera Two main things Ari bintu bibiri And we're going to look at them in scripture one is the roles that they play Icyambere nicyo bakora ibi turaza kubibona mu byanditswe We're going to see that they play different roles they are the same but they play different roles Imana nimwe ariko batandukanira kucyo bakora cyangwa se imirimo bakora And the second thing is the relationships they have with each other Icyaka biri batandukaniraho nubusabane bagirana hagati yabo These two are very important for us to understand the family Ibi bintu ni by'ingenzi kugira ngo dusobanukirwe umuryango. And when you understand what we are going to share, no usobanukirwe ibintu ngiye kubigisha iki gitondo, you will also understand why today Satan has focused his energy on destroying this picture of the church that we get from the scriptures. Uramenye impamvu Satani yashize imbaraga n'umwanya we kugira ngo asenye iki gice kimyizerere yacu nk'itorero There's a worldwide push now to destroy the understanding the Judeo Christian understanding of what a family is Uyu munsi hari intambara zikomeye Satani yahagurukije kugira ngo asenye uburyo dusobanukirwa umuryango nkuko imyizerere y'abayuda n'abakristo imeze This is a move from the pit of hell Iyi ni gahunda ivuye kuzimu ndababwiza ukuri and it touches the very heart of what the trinity is. Kandi gusenya umuryango bikora ku mutima w'ubutatu. So let's 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 continue. Father, Son and Holy Spirit are each fully God. Data umwana n'umwuka wera bose ni imana. They are equally God. Bose bararesha nk'imana. Each of them possesses the divine nature, the same nature. Kandi bose bafite ubumana bungana muri bo. As we say they are different in role and relationships. Gusa twavuze ko batandukaniye mu mirimo bakora n'ubusabane bagira hagati yabo. Now so that is very important. Let's just get that very clear. They are equal. Can you just tell your neighbor they are equal? Gira mugenzi wawe ngo bose ni bamwe. They have the same nature. Bateye kimwe. They are identical. They are the same. Barasa because you see in our world because we are so used to hierarchies we tend to think father is up son is here holy spirit is somewhere down here systeme yisi cyangwa se kwisikora yatwigishije ikintu kitwa ubusumbane no gutandukana rero natwe nka abakristo dukunze kwibwira ko imana data ari yo boss iri hejuru hagati hari umwana umwuka wera afite ikintu ari uwanyuma yatawe ku ruhande you know when you get a revelation of the trinity i mean we cannot fully understand it, but when god begins to exposed to you who that he is Ariko reka mbabwize ukuri ngo iyo wagize ihishurirwa ugasobanukirwa ubutatu ukamenya imana yari yo mu butatu Personally the impact on me has been a sense of security Jewe kugiti cyanje byampaye umutekano maze gusobanukirwa imana mu butatu bwa I understand that if God can be like this then I'm in very safe hands Gusobanukirwa ko niba Imana ishobora kubiteye gutya ubuzima bwanje burashinganye Let's talk about the father Rekaro tuganire kuri data When we read the scriptures we see that the father is supreme in authority Iyo somye ibyanditswe ubona ko data ari hejuru mu mbaraga ari Imana ishobora byose And even that we want to understand it differently from the way we understand authority on earth Ndagira ngo mbabwire ko imbaraga cyangwa se ubutware data afite tudakeneye kubyumva nk'abanyamubiri cyangwa nk'uko isi tekereza The father designs the purpose the grand purposes and plans that da, will take place Data ni ushiraho gahunda zibigomba gukorwa n'uburyo bigomba gukorwa Let's look at a beautiful passage in Ephesians chapter 1 Reka tunyarukire mu Befeso Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 we'll read verse 3 to verse 11 Turasoma Abefeso igice cy'ambere kuva ku murongo wa gatatu kugeza ku murongo wa 11 Now as I read I'm going to ask you to respond in chorus I'll ask you who do you think is speaking I'd like to hear what you think Dusoma ndajya mbabaza ngira ngo munsubize ndajya mbabaza nti ninde mwibaza ku avugwa hano hanyuma mumbwira uwo mwumva Okay let's begin 
Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Imana yumami wachu Yesu Christo ishim. Who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Ari yonase ishimge. Kuko ya duhere muri Christo imijisha yose yumuka. So how many persons of the Godhead are we talking about here so far? Let me hear. Two. We've got the Father. We've got the Son. Let's continue. Just as He chose us. Which He is that? Ninde Okay, Father, Data. chose us in him, which him is that? Muriwe, weninde. Son, okay. Umana. Before the foundation of the world, Isitarare mga. that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Which him is that now? First Kuji, the... Kujirango tube avera tutariho umugayo imbere yayo. Yayo ni ihe ninde. What did you think? Father, the same. Okay, Father, Data. in love, having predestined us to be adopted as sons by Jesus Christ, so that is the Son. Oh. To himself, okay, to which, what is himself? Who is himself? Father. Father. Okay. Mm -hmm. According to the good pleasure of his will. Whose will? Father, all right? Mm -hmm. So Father's will. To the praise of the glory of his grace. Whose grace? Father. Father. Okay. By which he who's, who's that? Ninde, Ninde wa bidu hai. No father. The father made us acceptable in the beloved. Yaduhere mumukunzi wai. Who's the beloved? Ninde mukunzi. Son. O, the son. Okay. Umgana. Now, do you see how the Trinity is expressed in these few passages? Okay. In him, we have redemption through his blood. Okay. Umgana. Probably both son and father expressed there. Good. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Whose grace? Father? Okay, his grace. Um, let me just get my bearing. Which he made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Okay? Ubgo yadusha jirijeho bukatubera ubge nje bgo seno kumenya. Who made? Ni indo wabikozibyo. Father? Son. Data. Mgana. Father. <laughs> Data. Okay. Um, which, um, which he made, uh, which he, uh, let, let, let me get my bearings here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, Verse 9. Verse 9, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. I lost my bearings. Having made known to us the mystery of his will, whose will? Itumenyesheje ubgiru ubgibji shaka, ubgiru ubgibji shaka, indu vishaka. Father, okay. Data. According to his good pleasure, which he purposed in himself. Kubgineza yuvushache bgayo. Who? Inde. His father. Data. <laughs> that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he, who? Father, data. Okay. Um, he might gather together in all things in Christ. So we are now talking about Son. Okay. 
both which are in heaven and are on the earth in him okay in him also we have obtained an inheritance mm -hmm. having been being predestined according to the purpose of him let's just finish now mm -hmm. who works all things according to the counsel of his will that we might fast that we who first trusted in Christ should be made the praise of his glory amen dukomeze kubwuwo natwe twarazwe umurage tubitoranirijwe kera nkuko imana yabigambiriye ikora byose nkuko ibishaka mu mutima wayo ngo tube abo gushimisha ubwiza bwayo twebwe abiringiye Kristo uherekera now do you see from this passage that we say they are equal but when you study this passage you see they play different roles murabona ko nababwiye ko bose ari bamwe kandi no muri bibyanditswe ubona ari bamwe ariko bagenda bivuga mu buryo butandukanye n'imirimo itandukanye bakora the father is supreme you see that it's his will his purpose you know his intention his plan data ari hejuru ni ugambirira ni uteganya ni ugaragaza ubushake bwayo ni we ukora ibyo biri hejuru how about the son ariko se umwana akora iki when we study the scriptures we see that the son is under the father's authority iyo dusomye ibyanditswe neza tubona umwana ari munsi y'ubutware bwa data the father always seeks to do the the the, the son rather always seeks to the father's will tubona ko umwana ahora ashaka gukora ubushake bwa data although the son is fully god nubwo umwana nawe ari imana yuzuye he chose to take his lead from the father ariko nawe akurikiza ibyo data yamubwiye gukora that's why in philippians 2 we are told though he was in very nature god he humbled himself niyo mpamvu yo dusomye mu bafilipi kabiri bibiri tubwira ngo yari imana ariko ahitamo gucishwa bugufi he humbled himself to the will of the father and became flesh yeme guca bugufi yemera guhinduka umubiri he submitted to death on the cross yemera guca bugufi kugeza ku rupfu rwo kumusaraba the son always seeks to glorify the father usanga rero umwana ashakisha guhesha icyubahiro data everything that the son does yose umwana akora ni ibihesha icyubahiro data they are equal ari kuzirikane ko bareshye amen amen they are equal Baradesha. It's not that one is superior to the other. Ibi ntabwo bivuga ko umwe arutundi. They are equal. Baracyaresha. Let's turn to John chapter 8. Eka tujye muri Yohana 8. And see what Jesus said here. Turebe icyo Yesu yavuze. John chapter 8 verse 25. Yohana 8 makumyabirinagatanu. Then they say to him, Who are you? Verse 25 John 8:25. And Jesus said to them just what I have been saying to you from the beginning I have many things to say and to judge concerning you but he who sent me okay he who sent me is true and I speak to the world these those things which I heard from him Yohana 8:25 Bibiliya iravuga ngo baramubaza bati urinde Yesu arasubiza ati nduwo nababwiye bwa mbere fite byinshi byo kubavugaho mbacira urubanza ariko uwantumye nubukuri nange ibyo namwumvanye nibyo mbabwira abari mwisi so you see here jesus talking about him who sent me He's talking about the father he was saying i was sent urabona ko yesu avugu wa mutumya akavuga ati uwantumye ndababwira ibyo uwantumye i was obedient and i came naremeye ncha bugufi ndumvira ndaza verse 27 says they did not understand that he spoke to them of the father makumyabiri na karindwi biravuga ngo ariko bo ntibamenya yuko ababwiye si verse 28 makumyabiri numunani then jesus said to them when you lift up the son of man then you will know that i am he and that i do nothing of myself but as my father taught me I speak these things and he who sent me is with me the father has not left me alone for I always do those things that please him Nuko Yesu arababwira ati ubwo muzamanika umwana w'umuntu nibwo bazamenya ko ndiwe kandi ko ari ntacyo nkora kubwanje ahubwo yuko uko data yanyigishije ariko mvuga kandi wantumye turi kumwe nti yasize genyine kuko mpora nkora ibyo ashima I have to say it again. 
Bisubiremo. They are equal. Nibamge. But the son has willingly submitted himself to the authority of the father. Ariko umgana yeme gucha bugufi musi utkware bgadat. It's not that the son is inferior, no. Habgo bifuga ko umgana nari musi adata oya. Amen. Amen. Now this is teaching, so I don't expect too many amens, you know. But that's okay. kundi mo kubi idisha habgo nibgira ko muri bumgire za amen na nyish. I just want to know that the word is going into your spirit. That's all. Yenda shaka kumva kui jambo jinje mumu kawa ibjo na nibjo gusasha kana chini. Amen. Amen. Let's talk about the spirit. Now, when you study the, the scriptures, it appears that the spirit is subject or what submits himself to both the father and the son. As the son sought to glorify the father in all that he does, the spirit always seeks to glorify the son. And ultimately praise goes to the father. It's a beautiful relationship. It's a beautiful relationship. Let's look at a, a, a scripture in uh, John chapter 18. 16, John chapter 16. Verse 12. This is Jesus speaking now. The son is speaking. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> However, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he says he will speak, whatever he hears he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. Uwo mwuka ukuri naza azaba yobora mu kuri kose kuko atazavuga kubwe ahubwo ibyo azumva nibyo azavuga kandi azababwira ibyenda kubaho Verse 14 he will glorify me for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you Uwo azanyubahiriza kuko azenda kubyanje azenda kubyanje akabibabwira Verse 15 All things that the father has are mine that's powerful. Everything the Father has, everything is mine. And we are not fighting over it. We are not fighting over it, no. Okay? Amen. Therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. Amen. Amen. Now, when God is at work, all of them are at work. Okay, we usually say God, we think of God the Father, but in reality, all of them are at work. Let's one example, how our redemption, how, how they how the God had redeemed us. The scriptures teach the father purpose. We saw some of it in Ephesians chapter 1. The father purpose and planned our redemption as sinners. He planned how it would be carried out. And planned that the son would play a key role in it, a central role in it. But he also planned that the son would be the most highly exalted out of that whole, if I may call it, project. We just read how he chose us before the world had been founded. The father chose the son to be the savior. So that was the father. What did the son play in, that, in our redemption? We've just read how the son 
always said, I'm not doing my own, I'm not carrying out my own agenda here. I'm coming because the Father sent me. I'm on a mission. The Father sent me. Twasomye yuko umwana yakomeje kubivuga cyangwa se Yesu yabivuje yabivuze kenshi ngo ntabwo nkora ibyo nibwiye cyangwa nshaka ahubwo ndasohoza ubutumwa bw'uwantumye uwantumye uwantumye laid aside all the glory that he had and got into a human body Yesu yashize ku ruhande icyubahiro cyose yari afite yambara umubiri w'ubumuntu and because he was without sin kwera yuko nta cyaha yari afite you know Satan had no power over him. But he was tempted in every way. He went through what we go through. He got tired. He got hungry. You know, he went through, the Bible says he was tested in every way that we are tested. As the time came for him to go to the cross, he saw what was before him. Igihe rero kiragera agomba kujya kumusaraba abasha kubona ibimutegereje kumusaraba. I used to think that when Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane he was when he said take this cup if it is possible he was thinking about the cross and all that and I th- I realized there was something much much deeper. Yewe nakundaga gusoma kirya cyanditswe kitubwira ngo ari Gethsemane yararize arasenga aravuga ngo iki gikombe kimvanweho imbere ye nakundaga kwibaza ko yavuze iryo sengesho kubera ko yabonaga umusaraba ariko naje gusanga yaravugaga ibindi bintu biremereye kurutu umusaraba Yes he knew because it used to happen commonly there were so many people were crucified it wasn't only Jesus even thieves were crucified Yesu yarabizi ibyo kubambwa bivuga kuko barabambaga ku musaraba icyo gihe abajura bababambaga ku musaraba ntago byari ibintu bishashya icyo gihe So on the physical level yes there was pain there was shame Mu bijyanye no mubiri harimo kubabara harimo kwambikwa isoni yarabizi I need to remind you that you know when Jesus hung on the cross our pictures don't do justice to what happened the pictures the paintings we have on the cross don't do justice Ndagira ngo mbabwize ukuri yuko amashusho dukunze kubona agaragaza Yesu abambwa ku musaraba atatubwize ukuri ntabwo ari kuri abyari bimeze When we paint Jesus on the cross we have the we have the dignity to put a loin cloth around his waist Jesus was stark naked on the cross Akenshi iyo dushushanije Yesu ku musaraba harakamba harakenda bakunze kumutwikira kugira ngo tutabone ubwambure bwe ariko ukuri kw'icyo gihe nuko baba bambaga bambaye ubusa buri buri The Romans did not want to give you any dignity they wanted to show all the population that if you fall into our hands for wrong doing this is what's going to happen to you Aba Roma nta cyubahiro bahaga umuntu baba bambaga bambambitse ubusa kugira ngo bagaragaze yuko nufatwa wakoze ikibi uri bukozwe isoni zo that's why I believe it's Luke who only Luke mentions this I think it was Luke that the women stood far away and you wondered why Ngirango Luke niwe wagerageje kubyandika avuga ko abadamu bari hirya ukibaza impamvu yanditse ayo magambo ese kuki abadamu bari kure The only woman who came close was his mother and I think one of his aunties they came close they are the only ones the other women too stood far away they could not bear to see their lord and master naked they just stood very far Abandi badamu bose bahagaze hirya cyane kuko batashoboraga kwihanganira kubona umwami yambaye ubusa abadamu babashije kwegera umusaraba ni myina Maria ndetse numutante we cyangwa se nyirasenge So Jesus took our shame that was part of what he took on the cross Yesu yatwa isoni zacu We don't have to carry shame anymore he Niyo mpamvu tutagomba kugendana isoni n'ikimwaro So if you're here this morning and you're under a burden of shame may the Lord minister to you Jesus carried our shame on the cross Niba wicaye hano muri iki gitondo ukumvuremerewe ni isoni ni kimwaro ndagira ngo nkubwire ngo Yesu yamaze kubitwara ku musaraba reka Imana igenderere umutima wawe muri iki gitondo But there was something deeper Ariko hari ikindi gikomeye cyabaye Obedience to the cross meant that at one particular point the father was going to put the sins of the whole world on the son who had never known sin before Tugomba kumva ikintu kiremereye cyabaye ku musaraba so kubambwa gusa ahubwo Yesu ari ku musaraba mu mwanya runaka data yafashe ibyaha by'abari mu nyisi yose abari ho abari kuzaza nabazaza iba ibyo byaha ibikusanyiriza ku mwana utarigeze ucumura imushiraho ibyaha byacu byose that was the most painful part of the cross because when that happened the father and the holy spirit could not look at him they turned away 
Imamvu cyari kimuremereye nuko amaze kwikorera ibyaha byacu Imana data n'umwuka wera bamuteye umugongo kubera yari yahindutse cyane And that separation of the godhead was the most painful thing and Jesus cried out my god my god god the father god the holy spirit why have you forsaken me Icyo icyo cyangiro cyazanywe n'icyaha kigatuma Imana data n'umwuka wera bamutera umugongo nicyo cyaremereye ubutatu kuvisi yaremwa kugeza uyu munsi ntabwo ubutatu bwigeze butandukana bwatandukanye ku musaraba Yesu yikoreye ibyaha bituma Yesu aboroga avuga ngo data data kucyuntaye I don't think we'll fully understand what Jesus underwent on the cross. Nabwo dushobora gusobanukirwa ibintu Yesu yanyuzemo ku musaraba muri uwo mwanya yikoreye ibyaha byacu. Maybe that's why God allowed a complete eclipse of the sun. Those 3 hours, you know, God was dealing something so shocking, so deep that God just caused the blackness to come on the whole earth. Ngirango niyo mpamvu This on that part of the where he was. Ngirango niyo mpamvu Imana yemeye ko habaho ubwira kabiri amasaha atatu kuko Imana yari maze gukora ikintu gikomeye kandi kiremere. So when the son looks at this the father says father if it is possible if there is any other way this thing can be done. If it is there please let it be but if there isn't nevertheless not my will but yours be done. Niyo mpamvu rero Yesu ari getsemane yasenze akavuga ati data ese nta bundi buryo nta kindi kintu cyakorwa kugira ngo ibi bintu mbone imbere ntibibe niyo mpamvu yavuze ati nimba nta bundi buryo reka ubushake bwawe abari bwo bukoreka nti yakore ku bwanje But the father that was the will of the father so the son submitted to the will of the father remember they are equal Ariko rero ubwo nibwo bwari ubushake bwa data niyo mpamvu Yesu yabinyuzemo ariko uko maze kuzirikana ko ari bamwe kandi baresha So this is the son umwana So while it is happening we can look at the role of the spirit what role did the spirit play Eka rero twibaze tutese umwuka wera yakoraga iki muri icyo gihe ibyo byabaga The Holy Spirit came to anoint Jesus to be able to do all these things Umwuka wera yaje gusiga Yesu kugira ngo Yesu abashe gukora bino bintu byose. Remember when he began his public ministry we are told you know the Holy Spirit he was led he was filled by he was baptized filled by the Holy Spirit and then led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Murabyibuka ko Yesu ajya gutangira umurimo umwuka wera yamumanukiye akabasha kujya mu butayu gusenga. He comes out of the wilderness in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yesu rero yavuye mu butayu yuzuye imbaraga z'umwuka wera. And this very first public statement is that the spirit of God has anointed me. Yesu akiva mu butayu ijambo rya mbere yavuze na ubwe yaravuze ati umwuka wera yansigiye. The spirit anointed him to go through the cross. Umwuka wera yari yaramusigiye no kubambwa. Gave him the strength and ability to go through Umwuka wera yari yaramuhaye imbaraga n'ubushobozi bwo kunyura ku musaraba. And when he submitted himself to death, amaze kwemera guca bugufi ndetse no kugeza ku rupfu, the spirit brought back that body to life. Umwuka ni we wazuye wa mubiri wari warapfuye. 3 days and 3 nights. Amajoro atatu n'iminsi itatu. On the third day that body which was had circulatory system was gone, you know all the body systems that closed for 3 days. Wa mubiri rero wari warapfuye wamaze imisi 3 nta kintu nakimwe gikora mu mubiri byose byarahagaze nkuko bigenda ku muntu wapfuye. God did not create another body. Tubona ko Imana itaremye undi mubiri. You know uh, one of these days pastor I'll come and teach on the resurrection. That is one of the most powerful things we we need to know as believers. Mushumba ngira ngo nzagaruka kwigisha ku muzuko kuko nk'aba Kristo dukeneye gusobanukirwa uburemere bw'umuzuko. We don't really understand the resurrection. Kuko ntabwo dusobanukirwa ihishurirwa riri mu gupfa no kuzuka kwa Kristo. The same body came back to life. The very same body but it was changed. Wa mubiri wari warapfuye ni wo wazuwe ariko wahinduwe noneho. It had abilities that it did not have before. Uwo mubiri uzuru gufite izindi mbaraga nubundi bushobozi utari warigeze kugira mbere. going through walls. Turabona uwo mubiri ubasha kunyura mu bikuta. And they think it's a ghost but then they touch. Bakibaza ko ari umuzimu ariko bawukoraho bakabona ari umubiri. This is a ghost touch and see it's a Nawe yarabavye ati niba ari umuzimu ni munyegere mu nkoro wo murebe niba ari umuzimu. It's with them. Asangira nabo. You know some for teach the resurrection will be some you know will be floating like clouds you know will be 
playing harps in the in the skies and there are, there are all kinds of misunderstanding about the resurrection. That resurrection morning was a very profound morning. Because the first time humanity saw what the resurrection is going to look like when it fully happens. Jesus is the firstborn. What happened to him will happen to all of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me not get sidetracked. <laughs> it's the Holy Spirit who did that. And the Bible tells us in Ephesians that the same power, the very same power that raised Christ from the dead is alive in us. The same spirit. Now, you know, a day will come when the same thing that happened to Jesus will happen to all of us. But meanwhile, you know, that same power is available to us. So, I don't know how much of it is manifesting in your life. Because the same power that is shining that light there the same power that is running this screen here it's the same power that is making it possible for me to talk to you through some It's the same power that runs your 10 watt bulb if you have one in your house somewhere, the very weak bulb. So what's the difference? The part of it is the capacity. You know, if you put, if your capacity is not big and a lot of it comes, it will blow you up, you know. One of my regular prayers is that, Lord, enable me to be able to contain more of your power. May, may my life be in a place where more of your power can flow through me. Amen. We need to be coming to a close soon. So when the God had carries out these their various roles, we see the Father as supreme in authority. We the see the son submitting the will of the father. We see the, the spirit helping the son carry forward his work to the praise of the father. We see the no competition. No bitterness. Perfect harmony. Perfect harmony. Now, that is what God wants to see in the family. That's exactly the picture that God wants to see. The father never considers himself better than the son. The son never seeks to shine and bask himself. You know, sometimes you find in families, even couples are competing. You know, it's amazing, but it happens. The son is supreme in authority, but he does everything so that the son, the father is supreme, so that the son is glorified. He's not working to promote himself or have his own agenda. The son is not complaining to the father, why are you stepping on my head? 
umwana nawe ntareba data ngo mumubwire ngo ari kuransuzugura kuki umpagaze hejuru instead he delight to the will of the will of the father umwana ca bugufi munsi ubushake bwa data lo is written of me in the volume of the book i delight to do your will ngo nezezwa no gukora ubushake bwa the spirit is at work to support all that is being done umwuka wera nawe ahora akora kugira ngo ashyigikire imirimo yabo bombi Don't you feel good that this this is this is the godhead that Urumvuta nezererewe ubutatu bw'Imana yacu Amen Amen Now I'll just spend the last few minutes to just introduce what I'll expound on on Tuesday Reka rero mfata akanya gato kugira ngo mbasogongeze kunyigisho nzigisha kwa kabiri z'umuryango If this has been a blessing to you and you can't make it on Tuesday I'm sure the church will make the tapes available to you Nimbi zinyigisho zakubereye umugisha ariko kwa kabiri ukabutazaboneka ama DVD azaboneka So the Trinity gives us a model to help us understand family Ubutatu butwereka uburyo twabasha gusobanukirwa umuryango buduha igishushanyo mbonera cy'umuryango And there are three main players it's a picture you have the father Ubutatu ni ishusho ritwereka ibintu bitatu cyangwa se abantu batatu Or the father in the family Hari data ari we papa wo murugo You have the wife or the woman in the family Hari mama mu rugo cyangwa se mu muryango You have the children as well Hari nabana equal bararesha equal barangana but distinctive ariko batandukaniye distinctive in roles batandukaniye mu mirimo bakora we'll really unpack we'll unpack this on tuesday ibi tuzabivugaho neza kwa kabiri mu gitondo so in a family mu muryango according to god's design nkuko imana yabishyizeho the father is given the place of authority umugabo ni uhabwa ubutware But he's supposed to use that authority exactly the same way as God uses his authority. Ariko nubwo yahawe ubutware agomba kwiga kubukoresha nkuko Imana data ikoresha ubutware bwayo. He's supposed to make himself the big boss and to be served and to be made king. Ntabwo umugabo ahabwe ubutware kugira ngo abe umwami w'urugo ukorerwa nabantu bo mu rugo nkaho ari umutware abandi arabaje contrary that authority is to serve his wife and to serve the children ahubwo bwa butwara buhabwa kugira ngo akorere umufasha we kandi akorere nabana be if the father is doing his role properly niba umugabo arimo kuzuza inshingano ze kandi agenda muri cyo yahawe he will work more than any of them azakora kurushuka umugore we nabana be bakora One of the saddest things in Africa today is seeing maybe it's different here but in many parts of Africa you see men at the drinking places they are playing games the wives are the ones doing all the hard work that I, is wrong Ikibabaje rero muri Africa ngira ngo wende hano mu Rwanda biratandukanye usanga umugabo atari ukora cyane nkuko umugore abagabo bakigira mu tubare cyangwa se bakiberaho ubuzima bworoheje ahubwo abagore akaba ari bo bavunikira mago yabo The wife then submits to the leadership of the husband. Icyo gihe rero umudamu agacira bugufi ubuyobozi n'ubutware bw'umugabo we. The children obey both parents. Abana bumvira ababyeyi bombi. As I said we shall talk more about this. Nababwiye ko tuzabiganiraho neza kwa kabiri. You can understand why Satan is bent on distorting that picture completely. Ariko ndagira ngo mubanze musobanukirwe impamvu Satani yahagurukiye gusenya ubutatu bw'Imana mu mitwe yacu. And a lot of the battles we are facing today are touching the very heart of the Trinity. Kandi ntambara nyinshi turimo kurwana uyu munsi ni izirwanya ubutatu bw'Imana. On Tuesday we shall expound on the role of the husband. We'll go on the man, we'll go into detail. And I know there are many you may not be married, uh, but there are those who are aspiring to get married. It's good to understand what God has in mind. Kwa kabiri tuzaganira ku muryango mu buryo burambuye tuvuga inshingano za buri muntu inshingano z'umugabo inshingano z'umugore n'abana niba warubatse uzaze mu nyigisho nimba uwenda no kuba ku rugo ndagusabye ngo nawe uzaze wumve ibyo tuzaba tuvuga Tuzavuga ku nshingano z'umudamu mu rugo nkuko Imana yabiremye and we shall talk about the children and their role as well tuzaganira n'inshingano z'abana mu muryango when this pattern is got right iyo 
inshingano za sobanuwe neza abantu bakabikora nkuko Imana yabishyizeho you tap into a blessing that flows from the very godhead itself mubasha kwinjira mu mugisha uva ku ntebe y'Imana ku mana ubwayo god can do a lot of things with families that are in order Imana ikora ibintu bihambaye cyane y'imiryango iri ku murongo when it is not got right the plan of god is disturbed it's not doesn't express itself fully iyo rero inshingano zitubahirijwe imiryango ntibimeze neza umugambi w'Imana ntabwo usohozwa neza mu miryango let us pray reka dusenge father we thank you so much that you have not asked us to do things that you don't do yourself data turagushima cyane kuko utaje udusaba gukora ibyo wowe udakora thank you for the picture of the godhead that we see urakoze kubwishusho y'ubutatu utwereka and when you say let us make man in our own image igihe wavuze ngo reka tureme umuntu mu ishusho yacu when you made us male and female ubwo waturemye abagabo n'abagore we see that you carried out to brought to us some of what is in you so that these roles could be played properly tubona ko wafashe ibiri muri wowe ubituzanamo kugira ngo izi nshingano zose zubahirizwe Lord, as we begin this conference today, we pray that your light will shine through this conference. We pray that you will heal homes. We pray that you will correct mindsets. Lord, so that in the years and months ahead, you will have families that will display your glory on the earth. Kugira ngo mana mu meza ari imbere imyaka iri imbere hazabeho imiryango igaragaza icyubahiro cyawe. And your plans for our generation will prosper. Umugambi wawe ku rubyaro rwacu uzasohore. We ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus. Tubisabye mu izina rya Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen.